guys you haven't seen a Hellcat video on my channel for a long time now and this is Kton RS uh, he's I think playing on the NA server so we're gonna see how he uh, performs uh, in this Hellcat tank and now Hellcat it's it, it was nerfed a couple of times actually let's say one big time uh, as far as I remember one major time but is I think it's still ca quite a capable tank but nevertheless um, I'm not gonna buy this thing back because I just I have too many tanks in my garage so we'll see the M18 Hellcat from Kton's uh, perspective so immediately he was on the on shore which way to go and quickly now the Hellcat can pick up quite a bit of speed to go and kill of course whoever he needs to kill and now okay so he's using the, the ridge here he can poke over it but careful if he does get spotted likely enemy camp is going to knock him out so I don't recommend this spot unless people you know for sure nobody's on the enemy ridge and in fact there's two RT so I don't recommend this place at all and don't and um, I don't want to make this a criticizing video, but just to let's say uh, give some advice, make sure you don't reverse directly or just go zigzagging forward and backward because you never know if the RT is aiming for you or not. But uh, let's just say this I want to highlight some of subscriber videos uh, to highlight what they've done well, what they've done bad and also give them what I think of course should be the way it's done and as you can see Wolverine there taking a shot so I think in the future um, you, you should maybe instead of driving directly backward go juke them slightly because that could be a game changer you never know one RD kit is all it needs to ruin Hellcat's day and now Okay, he's thinking about repositioning, and okay, I'm I'm, I'm trying to remember the Hellcat speed. I, I, I think it was faster before, a lot faster actually. So they did nerf the speed. I know they nerfed the gun quite a bit, but I can't remember the rest. So yeah, hiding the bush should be what the Hellcat is for. Should be for the 90 mil gun is capable. Of some damage, and any time now we shall maybe see somebody. The wolf ring on the enemy team is no no retard, so he has to be careful of him. Okay, in the open, wolf ring, you just got caught out in the open. Okay, that first shot didn't happen, but it seems like just one more. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, good. So another thing I noticed from the replay is that he doesn't have the zoom mod. Now I would certainly recommend you to have the zoom mods in because without the zoom, sometimes your your hand can be a bit shaky and some long range shot cannot be connected um, because uh, of course the the error you could have by hand hand shaking and all this stuff uh, can knock you out off your aim. And of course, it's steadier to have it with more magnification. So, okay, ARLV certain reason on the right. Come on, look at the map. Look at the map, mate. Look at the map. Come on, look at the map. Okay, so that wasn't good play. I have to say, I have to look at the map. But nonetheless, you can see that he backed off. But no, I say so. Backing off. Uh, it's the nice thing to do because you, you, you want to break contact so you don't get spotted so uh, what I would have done instead of staying here I would have drove across the map to knock out the Churchill and Togs because uh, this way I just feel like it's not gonna be too difficult for for the ARL to advance into our RT positions and I think taking out a Tog and Churchill are more important than helping your Bishop though that's what I think. And okay, ARL is right next to him. And come on, mate, you gotta get up there. You gotta get up, Calvin. 
circle him, do not stop here. Just yeah, go go around him. Come on, yeah. That's how you wanna do it. And ARL is gonna die anytime now. Yes, and he's dead. Okay, so good. So can he get away now before the RT lands a shot? Because enemy RT is really likely to be aiming this side. Okay, never mind. RT didn't lay a shot, so now he's probably not spotted anymore. And okay, now I think he should either go for RT or for the tog. I, I would go for the tog certainly, because since they are spotted already, you could just take easy shots on them. And uh, okay, that's Churchill, not top. Okay, so let's speed this thing up slightly. I feel like he's wasting a bit too much time, whereas he could have directly killed the Churchill there. But okay, since the T25 is going with him, it's not that bad of a choice now. And okay, just careful, you don't get, want to get RT in your Hellcat. Oh, and also, don't knock down trees. Because some people have mods that will tell them whether the tree is knocked down or not. So yeah, don't don't have that thing there. And okay, he's setting up an ambush. This is what I like about it. Because if we think about it, if your friend's capping, you don't you think nobody's coming from this direction, then obviously they're going to come back from this direction. So it's now essential for you to set up an ambush from the middle here to cut them across, and that will give them the worst day of their life. Okay, that's that's what I'm talking about. The bishop now spotted him, and okay, one nice shot. Stick to the building in front of you. Come on, stick to the building. And okay, bingo. That should get hit, get him the kill now on the bishop. Yep, bishop's dead down. And now God knows where the Hummel is. Quickly, you need to re-engage. As I said, turn your tank quickly. Zoom around. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, you need to go up to the hill here. Uh, in my opinion, to get a, a advantage, hold down position to shoot down the ridge from the top. That's what I think he should do. And it's all about your camel rating and the range that counts in the Hellcat. And well, they're capping now, so yeah, he's probably gonna do what I was recommending him to do, going up here. So as I said, don't knock down any of these things. Just you never know what people have in their mod packs. Just try not to do that. So that is my tip here. And okay, help uh, Tog in the open. He's so screwed. Okay, he waits. This is good. He waits until the Tog gets behind uh, concealment, which is so many bush there and. He's unlikely to get spotted that way, and now, okay, he's waiting again for him to enter the bush, and, okay, connects the shot there. He probably, he probably will get spotted here now. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, good. So that was really good play there. I have to give him full credit for that one there. And, okay, so, all you have to do is now reset it once, and, okay, don't knock down things again. Okay, nice, nice reset. The Churchill is daydreaming there. God knows what he's doing. Okay, now he has to think about how to take out the the, the Churchill. The, okay, the Hummel's on him now. The, the Churchill's got no brain at all. I don't know why he's showing his side armor to Hellcat. And any time now, RT, come on, come on, Bishop, do something as well. Yeah, no. Oh shit! You should have taken a shot on the move there. Nevertheless, getting close is what you sh should do in this situation against the Churchill and wait for your reload and pop out. Now, be unpredictable because the Hummel is right now here and you got to do it quick whether if you want to do it or not. Yep, there goes one. Now, Churchill has a brilliant rate of fire gun but doesn't do much damage and yeah, come on, yeah, come on, move, move now, move, time to move again. Now we know how. The Hummel won't be on him because the Hummel and the Grill probably trying to aim at their cap, and that get, means that now it's one versus two against RT. And can he get the both RTs now? Well, let's have a look. The enemy Hummel's like GG. Well, G it's only GG when you can win, and certainly when Katon is now on. Uh, Katon, let's say, Katon, why am I saying Katon? Uh, so, Katon's on 8 kills now. <laughs> You're not gonna easily win this at all. <laughs> not at all. And, 
this win streak shall carry on. Let's see what happens now. So the Hellcat uh, is still a good tank. Uh, looking at this, but not as well, uh, not as good as before. Just like the Tiger one, not not as good, but not that much worse. I say. And I had fun with my Hellcat. And now he's going to the last spotted location of the Hummel to dig him out. Now it's only a matter of positioning now, because you never know where the Hummel could hide. And Hummel's in the bush, wow. Even the Hellcat will struggle to find him. And I don't know what equipment you have on your uh, tank, on your Hellcat. Because you might have a rammer, you might not have anything. I, I don't know what you, you got. Because it doesn't display on the bottom. If you had a vent, you know, like camel net or binos, and now maybe he can cap this out now, can he? I would say load a high explosive round right now because Hummels you can pen him with high explosive, no problem, and that is the way I would recommend to do this. So he's going around the map hunting for him, nice, 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 uh, nice going around. Yep, and that's how you want to win this game now. Nine kills, and by the way, uh, Katon, you sent me this uh, AMS 50B video. Uh, it doesn't actually have a replay in, it, in the zip file, so I can't remember where you put the email. So uh, that I think that was lost. So I just show you the Hellcat, the show the Hellcat video right here. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, and hopefully I have analyzed why he's doing this good why he's doing it bad and uh, basically give you an uh, overall idea of how to uh, carry a game and it's w well done by him you know getting nine kills uh, in a Hellcat in, th in that sort of situation against this type uh, in this type of team so uh, big thanks to you to send this in and uh, we shall see you next time